In Alabama this week, a black Muslim group shot down, shut down its five-month-old cattle farm near Asheville and moved cattle and equipment 140 miles to begin the operation anew near Utah. The story behind that move from Ed Rabel. The black Muslims of St. Clair County, Alabama, are leaving after five months of white hate, hostility, and harassment directed at them. Thirty of their cattle were killed last week by arsenic poisoning. The Muslims are moving their cattle to a farm in Greene County, Alabama, 140 miles away. They say they moved because of the hostility. Do you condone the poisoning of the cattle? Oh, sir, definitely. I do not. The cows can't help being here. But the Muslims could. They sure can. They can go back where they came from. We're trying to get out of here and go where people are civilized, where we are wanted. Where can the black Muslims now go? There are plenty of places we can go. We can go back to Georgia. <laughs> Those people over there are friendly to it. Uh, we can go to South Alabama. We plan to go south from here and go where we uh, think we can operate. There are plenty of places we can go. Every, everybody, all white people are not like these here. The Muslims insist the land was to raise crops and cattle to supply their supermarkets and restaurants in Chicago and elsewhere. But most whites here simply do not believe that. They feel the Muslims' real aim is to create a new black nation in the South, beginning in St. Clair County. It's a disgrace to community to have Or a state, as far as that, a people that won't fight for their country, that won't claim citizenship in their country. They get out here and raise their own military force and then come threatening it. They'll bring in trailers, 20 or 30 trailers, to force their way into the community. Or that they bring a thousand black Muslims in. And then they expect us to sit here and keep our mouth shut and accept such stuff as that. I say never. Well, how far are you or were you willing to go in, in fighting the black Muslims? The limit. And what is that? Meet them toe to toe any way they come at us. I think anybody can understand that. I left my wife and children went down the Pacific to defend our country. And when they say they'll bring their group in here and run us out, it's got to be proven. I wouldn't expect to be treated this way if I went to Cuba. If I went to, uh, to the Soviet Union, I believe I could find somewhere in the backwoods that we could uh, live in peace and develop a business. I don't think even Castro, as vicious and as much as I dislike him, would treat me like this or treat the black Muslims like this. I really don't. I don't feel they'd do it. When I see those people out there on the farm, I, it wouldn't be any more serious situation if Castro had his board walking around out there with me because, to me, that's just as serious a threat as it would be if he was out there. Why is that? Well, they, they boldly say what they're here for. To, to make a nation and get rid of us white devils. I've been called a devil and a demon by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad himself. What will you do with the land? Well, we might try to raise some cattle on it. The Muslims are still trying to convince whites here that they do not want to make St. Clair County the capital of the new nation of Islam. And despite this setback, the Muslims say they will persist in their plan to buy up thousands of acres of land in the South not to raise an army, but just crops and cattle. Ed Rabel, CBS News, near Asheville, Alabama. The Food and Drug Administration has contracted for a stepped-up investigation of the artificial sweetener saccharin used commonly in diet foods and drinks. A recent study showed saccharin produces cancer in the bladders of mice, and the government asked for an evaluation of saccharin studies within two months. There is cause for concern, said a spokesman, but no cause for panic. The president of